This is an example of some integrity applications for security. And in this example, we're going to be looking at a uh, 812 install. And the first thing we're going to look at, I've already got the inquiry up, but it's fine cut and menu filtering. This integrity takes a look at the F9006 file, goes and gets uh, for the by role, goes and gets the actual task ID and the name. The 7 is a folder and 1 is an actual application. And in these examples, it's showing that uh, this role does have users assigned to it. And this role uh, has fine cut, or this role has F00950 security records. And all of these things for this role, everything that you'll see here when we scroll down, all of these are fine cut, which means uh, this role cannot see these selections. When we also look at this, we'll take the QBE out and we'll look at it and we'll see that we have fine cut for roles that don't have any security. Chances are these were created or copied over from some other system and the roles have been deleted. So we now have orphaned records in fine cut. And when you look at these and there will be, there's actually 17,000 records for this particular one not this particular role, but all of these that have a blank role description are orphaned records. And we, we can scroll a lot, but we can go in here and say, go in and just pick some roles. And here are some other roles that don't have 950s and are not assigned to users. But for this particular one, we know we have a lot of roles that start with S. And this SL Power is another role that does not have 950s. And it's not assigned to a user. But when we start getting into these S, SXTs, let's do this, SXT, And then we're going to go to the end, and it's interrogating everything in the F9006 that has a role SXT, and it's come up with 64 entries. And so we've got 64 fine cut entries pertaining to these roles. Uh, in the totality of the information, there's some in, there's some fine cut entries that we could, should go in and get rid of because they just cause clutter. When you're trying to analyze fine cut or analyze security, when you, uh, when you have users or roles that no longer exist or you have security assigned to roles that don't exist or security assigned to roles that aren't assigned to a user, that's clutter, and you'll spend too much of your time looking at the clutter than actually looking at, at what a particular issue might be or might be caused. Another security thing we're going to look at is user role integrity. In this particular uh, inquiry, what it does, is it interrogates the F95921 and it goes back and it looks does this user ID is it enabled and you'll notice there's a blank in front of every one of these and it is in a user ID sequence uh, we'll scroll down until we start seeing well, hey it's just one gone from W to A which means all of these, these first 31 records, have a blank before the user ID. Uh, these 31 records can be deleted. 
they are cluttered. And in this part right here, we actually we're actually looking at users. And we have a user that O2 means disabled. I've got an address book number and I have a name and I'm in PD, so it should exist. When we look over here in these columns, uh, the user has roles. It's, it's looking at the 95921 for this user. Does this user have roles? Yes, it does. Does this user have security overrides, which would be a security assigned just to a user? These other three columns are just for roles. So what we'll do, the roles are actually groups Silent S, and this, and it's in alphabetic sequence also. So you'll notice that right up here, there's a blank. So this particular record can be deleted, or this uh, role can be deleted. And this particular role has no users assigned, and it has no F00950s, and it has no fine cut. So this is just another cluttered record that we don't need and we can get rid of. No one will notice anything or notice any change in functionality. This one here, we'll just leave it, or we can leave it, the full PS, full access to pristine. That role's not assigned to anybody, not concerned about it. But we can scroll down here, and then when we see... This is an interesting role. The label print primary clerical role. This role is assigned to users, but there's no security behind it. Is this a placeholder role uh, for use for something else? Uh, or was it a mistake? Or could it be a work in progress that someone's working on that role and hasn't completed it yet? Uh, this could be clutter, could, be, could require some additional investigation, but at first glance, I would get rid of those. I would get rid of all of the roles that are assigned to users if they're not placeholders, and a placeholder role would be used for fine cut only. So if you have a role assigned to a user, and it has fine cut but no security, that would be indicative of a placeholder. In this example, we're going to look at roles that start with an S. And, you know, normal roles assigned to users have 950s. Here's some you can get rid of. This one, we just talked about placeholder. Another placeholder, perhaps. But all of these are okay. The ones that have users and have 950s, uh, those, are, those are okay. But this user role integrity can be used to clean up roles, clean up some users, and help get rid of some clutter. This other application is the security driver. And as an example here, it's going to look at all the user IDs and it interrogates the, uh, uh, the user security, the F98OWSEC, uh, and it interrogates uh, specifics for the user, is there user overrides for environments, that kind of stuff. And in this example, you'll see the first one, you know, starts with a C, and then all of a sudden we go to A. You'll notice there's a blank here. And the that user ID can't log on. We'll take a look at it from this way. C O B S F. And we see that it was created again, perhaps, but these records can be deleted. And these records could be deleted 
right here by deleting deleting this record and then you would go back in to your P0092 and get rid of them. The other interesting information in this one takes a little while to bring up the records is that while it's interrogating it shows you of course if they have uh, an address number and if they can find a name for this particular role full TN and full PY I put in what my uh, client uh, production environment is in my web production environment so this is telling me that these two records aren't production roles it also tells me over here that the, the user ID is in, enabled or not. 01 is enabled. And this tells you the number of days it's been since that password was changed. So based on your uh, policy for password maintenance, you may want to go in for this user ID and delete this uh, F98OWSEC record. What happens when you delete the F98OWSEC record is that this user ID cannot be re-enabled. Uh, but you do have your history that this user had these roles and it'll show you for this particular user, he's got a few. Got about 31 rolls, something like that, which is, of course, more than the 30. Uh, and, of course, all of these app integrity applications, you can take and do a wide open inquiry, scroll to the end, and you can copy these records into a spreadsheet for additional slicing and dicing. And this application is written with the J.D. Edwards tool sets, and it is web-enabled. So you can do all of these inquiries from there also. I'm going to look at one last application. It's not really an integrity, but it's an interesting application that you can put uh, a user ID here, and you specify what my environments are uh, for production. In this example, I just have PDA12 and JPDA12. And I can put an application here, and I can click this. Tell me in what role does this user have access to this application? They have access under this role, and but they don't have add, change, or delete. But over here on this side, oops, on this side, you can put the security types in there. And on this side, it'll tell you that J Adams J, this is their data security. And it says that under this role, D high Y, here's the company security and here's the business unit security. So when you're looking at uh, if they could add records into the address book, the supplier master or whatever, here's what they could uh, what they could add, and it's got from blanks to zeros. They can add, change, delete. Can't do from 1 to 200, can from 201 to 205, not 206 to all nines. And then this, I don't know why it's duplicated, because this one is the same as the top one, uh, which could cause some confusion later on when you're looking at uh, combining the company and then the business unit. But you can also look at what action security does this person have. And it's for all, all of the applications that they have security records. 
minus 4. The interesting part is if you have a public security record for action for no add, no change, no delete, for every one of the inquiry roles, and in this example, for all of the roles that this person has, we have... 324 security records that we don't need, and this is cluttered. Uh, these security records, uh, if you delete the action security that says no, you let the public uh, default take over. You can look at uh, action security, if there's any column security, which in this case there's not. And you can look P You can look at it by applications. We'll take P four. To ten. We'll look at this one. How about P forty two ten OP? And in this example, Adams J has access to P forty two ten OP in one, two, three, four, five, six rolls which is the warehouse lead inquiry, planner inquiry, warehouse lead full. I think we talked about removing some inquiry roles where they had the full. But we'll go look at action security, and we'll see that in these two inquiry roles, they have no action, and in these roles, they do have action security. And it is in role sequence, here, so uh, when the security is loaded and it's determining does this user have access to P4210OP, it uses the highest sequence number uh, for it. And in this example, uh, they would have add, change, or delete. This pretty much ends the brief overview of integrities. Uh, let me know what you think. This is Dave Bob.